Welcome to Handle It, your online instructional cooking show. I'm your chef and culinary instructional guide, Chef Atari, and today you better book your travel agent because you're gonna be taking your mouth on a culinary journey fusing Greek with Japanese cuisine. Today, we're gonna to be making the souvlaki sushi. Now your first step is you're gonna start baking your steak fries in the oven, 425 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. To give our rice a bit of color, we're gonna add two tablespoons of chicken broth. Once your water is boiling, go ahead and add your rice. Give a nice little swish swish, make sure that rice is fully covered and submerged in water. Then reduce heat to low and cover. Let your rice cook for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna make the sticky mixture for our rice. This is gonna consist of some rice vinegar. This is about half a cup. So once the rice is at a boil, let's go ahead and add your sugar and let that dissolve. Dissolve, and about a tablespoon of salt. Once you have them combined, you'll just want to mix it until the sugar and salt are dissolved into the rice vinegar. The rice is cooked, our sushi vinegar has cooled, and right now, you are just gonna to wanna to add it slowly to your rice. You do not have to add it all. And you wanna just keep mixing this constantly until the rice itself is air drying with each mixture. Now, souvlaki does traditionally come with pork, chicken, or lamb, but don't worry. We got both bases covered over here. We're gonna be going for some chicken fillets and our trusty old bacon. What you're gonna to wanna to do is add your chicken fillets to a mixing bowl, add a little generous amount of oil. And right here I got some souvlaki seasoning for our chicken. Coat each piece of chicken with seasoning and oil. You wanna skewer your chicken so that way it is nice and perfect and it doesn't shrink while cooking. Our souvlaki sushi is gonna be packed with chicken and pork. Oh yeah. And this is the moment you've all been waiting for, baby. If you haven't smashed that like button for souvlaki, smash that like button for the bacon. Now you tell me, are you the guy who likes to have a chicken souvlaki or a pork souvlaki? Let me know in the comment because that's really important to me. You're gonna wanna place a saran wrap on a cutting board. You wanna place your sticky rice mixture down on the saran wrap and you're gonna form a rectangular shape. And if you wanna be able to manipulate the rice, press it down more firmly, wet your fingers, Exactly. Wetting your fingers will stop the rice from sticking to you, giving you better manipulation. Now, you'll wanna put your split open pita over the rice, place a thin layer of chicken. I'd like to go with the lettuce, hugging the chicken. Now, we can go and place strips of bacon, a nice steak fries, just like so, and some feta spears. And to complete the flavor, some onion slivers. Now, to complete the roll, lift your saran wrap and tuck at the same time, nice and firm, getting the ingredients tucked under and pulled with the saran wrap as you roll. Compressing all at the same time. And you'll notice I'm keeping it in the saran wrap because we're not done. We're gonna wanna put it in the fridge so that way it could solidify better and hold better together. So the souvlaki is known for its signature sauce, tzatziki, and sushi is known for wasabi, a burn your nostril type of experience. Combining the two together, surprisingly, brings a very cool and relaxing sensation. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a match made in color culinary heaven. Souvlaki and sushi combined making souvlaki sushi. It's like, say souvlaki sushi five times in a row real fast. Souvlaki sushi, 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 souvlaki sushi. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you like, share, favorite, subscribe, and create these dope ass recipes. Now there's nothing left to do but to enjoy my souvlaki sushi.